Uh, this is called the Joint Pacific Multinational Readiness Center, or JPMRC. Most important training in the 25th Infantry Division we do all year, but it's bigger than the 25th Infantry Division. Uh, it's joint, so it involves assets from across Oahu and across the Pacific region. You can see one of those assets right here behind me, C-17 aircraft out of Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam landed up here at Wheeler uh, this morning and is going to pick up some of our soldiers and transport them over to uh, Pohakaloa Training Area on the Big Island and Bradshaw Field, landing at about 6,300 feet, a little bit over a, a mile high in elevation over there at uh, Bradshaw Field. And we're going to do that routinely over the next couple of days. It's uh, multinational, so we've got uh, training partners from the Philippines, Indonesia, and Thailand training with us. And then we've got observers from several other countries across the region, up to 10 other countries across the region, all of whom are here to gauge relative value in what they see in this training with the potential for them to train with us more in the future. I'm talking about allies like Australia and Japan and Korea, but others like uh, Bangladesh um, and, and, and Thailand and Indonesia and the Philippines, maybe less traditional allies who are coming here, Singapore being one, who are coming here to gauge value in this training. And my guess is they'll sign on to participate with actual training units uh, down the road. It's a regional combat training center. So instead of sending our forces back to the mainland like we used to, back to the National Training Center or the Joint Readiness Training Center at Fort Irwin, California or Fort Polk, Louisiana, we're doing all that right here on island. We're getting great training benefit out of it. It's cost effective. We don't have to ship all our stuff. We're saving tens of millions of dollars a year and we're training alongside our allies and partners in the region so that we're ready to respond in case something happens out here. Super important, can't emphasize that enough. But I do realize there'll be disruptions uh, to uh, daily life. There'll be noise at night, will be uh, simulated battlefield noise here on Oahu and on the Big Island. We'll be doing some uh, simulated live fire training, force on force training in and around, you know, potentially close to some populated areas. And we're landing some big fixed wing aircraft out here at Wheeler Field, which we don't normally do. I want you to know we're listening to your issues if you have some, whether it's noise, traffic, et cetera, et cetera, uh, call us or email us. 808-655-3487. Um, and that's straight to US Army Garrison, Hawaii. They'll take your complaint. They'll take your comment. We want to hear them. Because this isn't the last time we're going to do this, folks. This is an annual event, and it's only going to get bigger and better from here. So help us get better at it now so that in future iterations, we can make it less disruptive, more convenient for everybody while still getting the training value out of it that we want to get.